Hey guys, I'm here to do uh, part of my sister, my prom sister, can I know? And today is going to be talking about today. <laughs> I'm not today in particular, but the topic of today and focusing on one day at a time during now. So, I'm just going to show you a few ways that you can stick to um, keeping your mind centered on one day at a time. Uh, as well as uh, ways that you can tick things off, mark things off, so that you know you're on track uh, in fun ways, I guess. So, I love calendars. Uh, sometimes you can find a lot of these different cool calendars that people have made, or I'm pretty sure you can make your own calendars online digitally and then print them out. For instance, uh, I have one that I've pulled out from a magazine. It's really quite cute, and I'm going to be hanging it up during Nano. I'm sorry, it has this, um, I've choreographed a special dishwashing dance for you on the back of it. So basically what I've done is, I have put all my word goals on, t you probably can't see it, but I, I have um, put all my word goals onto this little sheet. And so, you know, this is one way that I'm going to stick with my day. So I'm going to say, okay, Thursday, my word goal is 1,667 uh, words, okay? That is all I'm going to focus on for that day. So, you know, I'm just going to do an example. I might get a texture, any color, and I might circle that one or do a, a little outline. And I'll look at the calendar and say, okay, today I'm focusing on today. Today, my word goal is that number. And you might say, okay, that is all I'm going to focus on today, the word goal. But that can sometimes be really stressful. So I like to look at it as I, the, the day, you know, not the overall picture. The overall picture is 50K. Today, I'm just going to write. Today, every day, I'm just going to write. And I'm going to try and reach my word goal. And if I do reach my word goal, I might tick it, colour it in, do a smiley face, put stickers on it. Uh, things like this are really great for motivation as well. Because, you know, who... Kids and adults are like, who doesn't like a sticker on the calendar if you've done a good job? I mean, I love that kind of stuff. Uh, my teacher did it with my work. And we are grown adults. And it just, it just gives you that kind of extra like boost to like yes I have accomplished something but the thing is don't feel bad if you didn't accomplish that word goal because you can always get it up the next day so the main aim is to focus on the day at hand the task at hand what do you do usually when you have a mega task and you have a deadline you break it up into smaller pieces so for those who uh, uh, like to a bit more linear I guess you could say who like to dot point things out or just make a brief schedule of what they can do or just want to write out a brief plan of what they would like to, to be achieving today which is something that I do I'm going to show you guys I've probably shown you before but I tell you what this system sometimes works it sometimes doesn't but during nano it's definitely going to be um, one of the things that I do I pretty much just write, like I focus on today so today is October 29th, okay? And I write down all the things that I want to work on, or want to do for the day, and any numbers or anything like that. So you could do the same thing with your um, nano planning. So you could say, for instance, what I've drawn up here, briefly. Let's just say nano starts on a Monday, okay? Um, today, on uh, Monday, you might just want to focus on chapter one. So I'm just focusing on today. You're not worried about chapter two. You're not worried about how many chapters are going to be in the book. You just want to focus on chapter one and getting that done or getting it started or brainstorming or doing something. Whatever you're doing, make sure it's writing towards your goal. But you may just want to work on chapter one. So chapter one may enable you to, or I don't know what the right word to say, but you may just want to do 167 words, 1,600 67 words for that chapter or you may not want to worry about a chapter and you may just want to do those words but you also may want to just work on scene one to three or just scene one which could be part of chapter one etc etc i think you guys hopefully get the idea without me confusing you so you could just not worry about the word count for today 
and you could just work on the scene. So you could, there are a lot of different ways that you can trick or train your brain into being productive, into being centered around the day, um, as well as giving you guys a little bit of a boost. Now, I sometimes find it very hard during nano to focus on today because I get panicked and I go, oh my god, it's like day two. I have not written 40,000 words on day two. I am so fucking screwed. That's not the point. That is why we have this breakdown. This is why I'm telling you guys, just focus on today. Enjoy today. Enjoy the writing experience of that day. I'm going to tell you guys, during the month, um, no two no two writing days are going to be the same. You could have a week where you just write slosh. You could have a week where some days you write slosh, other days you think you might be writing fantastic. The point is just to write. It's all going to be slosh at the end. But it will have some gems in, to talk, in, um, in it, really, it will. I can, tr I can tell you now, if you don't have at least one sentence out of 50,000 words that you can use, yeah, it doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter. What matters is focusing on today at hand, and I think that's a really good thing to approach um, every aspect in life, not to focus too much on tomorrow or yesterday, just focus on today, because today is always another chance that you can add extra words. Always another chance that you can meet new people on no 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 forums or join challenges or do anything. Every day is a new adventure during nano. So remember that guys, because it really is. Another way, much like my um, calendar that I'm going to be doing, is something I just pretty much devised this morning because I'm a crafty person. So you guys, if you are crafty or you just want to do something fun to um, plan your nano or do during nano, um, I don't really celebrate Halloween, and uh, I'm supposed to do a tag on this, but I don't really celebrate Halloween per se. It falls on Nano Eve here, so oh, I guess it falls on Nano Eve everywhere. But um, over here, I just I like to be festive, you know, pumpkin pancakes and things like that. Uh, but I did have a stamp that I bought um, a couple of years ago, and it's of a pumpkin. And I thought of you guys over in America, or anyone that likes to celebrate um, that kind of theme, or like you know Thanksgiving, um, Halloween, th that kind of um, celebrations, I guess you can say. And so I grabbed out my little um, pumpkin punch, and this would be really great for you guys in America because I guess you're you're in the fall season right now, which would make it even more of um, a fun idea because you can use them again. Um, if you keep them, you can use them again. So these are just little cards that I've made, something to do between now and now to get myself in the mood. And I basically made these cards and they have daily word counts on them. So that's the first one. And I made 30 of them with this cute little stamp. And I decided that a way that I'm going to focus on today is I'm going to take a card every day and it's going to tell me what I'm supposed to be at. And then if I do reach that goal, I'm going to get my little texter and really badly colour this in because this is an example. I do not colour well. Yeah, I'm just going to colour it in and it's fun. It's, it's something really easy and fun to do and I could put them on my wall and you know, there's nothing more satisfying and having coloured cards completed that are stuck on your ball. And you know, even if you've only got five for the week out of seven, um, it, it makes you see, yes, I have accomplished something. You know, I have, I've written 1,667 words. That is so much better than writing nothing at all. I have spent, you know, a couple of days out of my week, a couple of hours out of my week writing to reach my goal. And you see that on your wall, or you see it on your, uh, on your notice board or on your fridge, and you go, yes, I can do this. This is fun. This is fun. You can make nano fun. You can make nano fun of interesting ways. So I guess today is to focus on today. So you can't focus on tomorrow. You, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You, don't, you can't focus on um, yesterday because yesterday has already happened. If you, if you didn't meet your work goal, you didn't meet your work goal, but you always have the opportunity tomorrow, or today rather, to meet that goal. 
So just remember that if you get stressed out, today is today. So just focus on today, guys. So that is my tip, I guess, for today. I hope it helped. Um, I hope you took something out of it. And I shall see you with the last topic, which is stationery and sweets. Bye, guys.